Hello! Today I thought I would do a video on me cleaning basically. I have got all my Christmas stuff out on my website which is wallywaterceramics.com. I'll put a link in the description. And basically I'm going to do a big clean because the dust for potters is really bad. Um, I guess some of you might know. I don't know how many of you are potters or what. Or maybe you just have studios or maybe you just like studio vlogs. But I got quite a few more subscribers since I last did anything. And I hope that you enjoy these. I'm trying to put some more videos out. I really enjoy them and so does my French pottery friend and she always begs me for them so this is for you. Right now I'm gonna tidy up all of this mess, have a reorganise of the shelves, probably sort out these drawers because they're full of like random stuff like packaging when I first started but I never used and that needs to go upstairs some clay boxes I mean clay bags which probably have dried out they need to go in the reclaim this is a box of reclaim there's a load of bags and I'm gonna clear out these shelves because I collected jars for my slips at the start but I never used these jars I used the ones over here so basically I'm gonna have a massive tidy up this is the rest of the room I can't really show you in one like shot of what it looks like but basically I'm gonna have a massive clean because I put the blue on too thick and I fired about five of them and then I realized so I didn't fire the rest so they're gonna go in the bin but these I can wipe the blue off and then reuse the clay and that's the same with these egg cups I'm probably just gonna reclaim all of that clay over there as well I don't really know why I have so many of these pots but clearly I was making for something and I can't remember stoneware so I think I'm just, just gonna bin it um, because I don't want to mix it in with all of my stoneware and then for it to be earthenware if anyone has any tips on how you know because I can't really tell the difference between the two color wise I tried looking back through my Instagram stories because 
I tell you what, that really helps in remembering stuff like and figuring out when it's from, but I couldn't find anything relating to these, so I'm not sure where they've come from and why I made them. Sorry about the face, that's because of the mask. I've done the first two shelves and then I'm on to the third. Now this is a box of reclaim, some random towels, another box which is for drying and these bats my boyfriend made but I haven't sanded them into shape or put the weather resistant varnish on. So I'll probably put those in the cupboard for a later date. And I think I have some mugs at the back. These towels will go in with all my dirty towels and then when I need to, I'll rinse them in water and then I put them in a wash, in a washing machine. I guess a lot of you know, but I just use a hairdryer instead of a heat gun. It works really well. Um, this is like an ancient one. I think the ancient ones work better because they get really hot but they don't blow like loads of air. I'll keep this because they're really good for holding my phone up as a tripod. <laughs> third shelf now so the next one down is basically earthen by clay which I'm gonna combine into a bag because I don't use it that often a glaze but I'm gonna put those two glazes on the same shelf my scales and some random stuff behind there On top of here are my plaster bats for drying out clay which I'm gonna do give it a good clean and then that box goes there to stop them sliding around and then I have a bin which it needs emptying So now I'm going to give it a good mop. You can see how much dust and clay is down here, so that needs a really good clean. I'm gonna do a quick mop and then I'll clean the bottom shelf and then hopefully I'll be able to move some of this stuff back because it is a mess. shelf that shelf although there's some stuff in there that I'm not sure about that's just stuff that's gonna go all of these shelves I haven't done the drawers yet but I've cleaned behind the drawers and the tops so I'm gonna have a break for lunch and then I'm gonna come back to it
and a different stoneware here. I need to clean out these drawers, but on top we have my plaster spats for wedging, a tool kit and a bin. Those are the water bottles. This shelf is now emptier. Um, I am collecting these jars, but I've lent them all to my mum for mincemeat. They were empty and I hadn't used them, so don't worry. And then all of these are a lot more tidy. We've got glaze and clay, but dried clay. I need to put hot water in there for reclaim. My old pottery that I have done, that I don't want to get rid of because it shows how much it progressed, but I don't know what to do with it yet. My reclaim that goes on there, and the scales and a notebook and a coaster. And then there's all of this to deal with, but I'll do that another day. I've realised that I didn't have an ending, so goodbye, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon.